Well, Nvidia could be in for some serious trouble because we just got a massive update on Intel's upcoming Battlemage GPUs. Let's talk about it. This video is brought to you by Raycon and their Everyday Earbuds. The Everyday Earbuds are a great high quality pair of earbuds that prove you don't need to pay big bucks to have a great experience. Not only do they look and feel great, but they come with a ton of features such as IPX6 water resistance, 32 hours of battery life, three different sound profiles, an awareness mode, wireless charging, and vivid voice technology. These are the type of features that make the Everyday Earbuds a great choice for people like me who are very active and need their earbuds to hold up without having to worry about them slowing you down. But honestly, the battery life makes it a great fit for everyone in my opinion because I was absolutely shocked by how long they went without a charge. Just to give you guys perspective, it took over a month and a half until I had to charge the case for the very first time. So if you're interested in picking up a pair of great looking and feature rich earbuds at a fraction of the cost of competing brands and you want to support the channel, be sure to click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash graphically challenged to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. I hope Nvidia has some life insurance pulled out on their RTX 4090 because some new info that was just leaked by the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech spells serious trouble for Nvidia as yeah, it's looking like Battle Mage could potentially be even way faster than we were originally expecting and this is coming as a huge shock to me guys because I was expecting the Battle Mage would maybe be as fast as an RTX 4070. Well, looks like it could actually be a lot faster than that. So let's get into this one, guys. Now, as I mentioned, all this information is coming from a Red Gaming Tech video. I will have his video linked in the description below, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on everything he said. I mean, can we realistically expect Intel's flagship Battlemage GPU to actually beat the RTX 4090? Well, at least according to Red Gaming Tech, it looks like he's suggesting that there is a possibility that it could be right there with the RTX 4090. So is it gonna absolutely stomp the face in of the 4090? Probably not. But I wanna read you guys real quick roughly what he said about Battle Mage. Now, in his latest video, when he was talking about the performance, there had been some updates, and to paraphrase, he did roughly say the Battle Mage's compute performance may be higher than the RTX 4080 and possibly as high as the RTX 4090. Now, that is absolutely insane because the last time that I crunched the numbers on the leaked specs, it was kind of a situation where I was expecting around 4070, but in theory, compute performance could be as high as an RTX 4080. Well, if this is to be believed, there's a scenario where maybe Intel's next generation flagship Battlemade GPU could, in theory, be as fast as an RTX 4090. Now, I do want to let you guys know he didn't seem 100% confident in this. It was kind of like one of those, hey, somebody said this to me, but I'm not entirely sure. At least that's what it came off as to me. So definitely take this with a grain of salt. Now, another reason as to why this is really, really exciting, guys, is in his video, he mentioned and actually showed a leaked side from Intel that it probably won't be drawing any more than 225 watts, roughly. So if we do indeed get this GPU roughly as fast as a 4090 with way lower power draw, that's really good to see. Also, when he was talking about it, it seemed like he was suggesting that the drivers would be much better on launch, which does make a lot of sense to me versus what we saw with Intel Arc, where they kind of launched with rough drivers, and then as time went on, they got a lot better. And while we could expect potentially Battle Mage drivers to increase performance over time, it's sounding like on launch, they should be pretty solid. Great news there as well. Additionally, I want to read off real quick the specs, guys, as well as some other information. So, at least when it comes to the specs, he is saying that there's two possibilities for specs. There's a slightly lower spec configuration, which he believes could be maybe like the A750 equivalent, and then the higher spec version, which should be the flagship GPU, or at least this is what he believes so far. The higher end one, which does make a lot of sense to me, is 64 XE cores, which is double that of what we saw on the A770. Clock targets are apparently three gigahertz plus. It should be using a 256 bit bus of GDDR6 or 6 X. All of this makes a ton of sense to me so far, and then apparently it's going to have 48 megabytes of L2 cache, a similar die size to the 8103. It should be on TSMC 4 nanometer. It also should be launching in terms of a gaming variant sometime around Q1 or Q2 of next year. And then apparently he did also mention 
that there's going to be some pretty big improvements to ray tracing. And then I believe he was mentioning that potentially we could be seeing XESS2 coming around the launch as well. Now, if you don't know, XESS is essentially their version of DLSS or FSR2. So that does make a lot of sense to me. And I do think they really need it, especially considering that at least in my experience, XESS is a little bit behind FSR as well as DLSS. So that would be good to see. But all in all, guys, a lot of this actually makes a ton of sense, especially when it comes to the specs. This is all lining up with previous leaks and rumors that I've been seeing in terms of performance. It all adds up and makes a ton of sense that, yeah, you double the amount of cores, you massively increase the clock speeds, and then you fix some bugs in the design and increase your IPC. And they definitely could be getting much, much higher performance in the ARC A770. And this could be, yeah, a card where maybe we're seeing around RTX 4, 4080 performance. Now, in terms of compute, could it be as fast as an RTX 4090? And depending on the workload, I could see that happening. But realistically, I do believe compute performance will be closer to the RTX 4080. Now, this is just my opinion. So, of course, I do want you guys to let me know in the comments below how fast do you believe Intel's next generation Battle Mage GPU will be. But in my opinion, I think they will fall short of the RTX 4090. Maybe in synthetics, they'll get around RTX 4080. Although I believe in terms of actual gaming performance, performance, they'll be somewhere between a 4070 and 4080, depending on if the game's like DirectX 12, if it's using ray tracing, all that sort of stuff, where maybe Intel will be better in some games and worse than others. But to be honest with you guys, even if it's only as fast as an RTX 4070, that is a massive leap over their current generation stuff. And if the price is right, I mean, if we're talking like $500 for something that's as fast as a 4070, that's going to be an absolute steal. But realistically, I think considering that the ARC A770 came out at around $350, if they were able to give us, say, a $700 card that was as fast as an RTX 4080, that would hands down be the best value card on the market and if it has much better drivers on launch as well yes yeah, certainly their next generation gpu especially if it beats an rtx 4080 and is just 700 like 699 maybe even 650 dollars that's going to be an absolute steal for gamers and honestly guys i think this is the card that is worth waiting for now i do want to let you guys know you know yeah sure it's great to wait for a card that could be bringing us absolutely fantastic performance but keep in mind performance targets can be missed there could could be delays who knows what could happen so if you really need a card right now of course if you find a good deal definitely pull the trigger but if you're in no hurry to upgrade yeah it might be worth waiting to see what intel has to show or at least more leaks until you pull the trigger but of course quarter one or quarter two of next year is still a little bit of a ways out so again if you need something right now don't hesitate to at least take a look at what's available if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.